Top 5 Alternative Power Systems Alternative energy isn't so alternative anymore. It's in the news, on political platforms, atop roofs and filling gas stations. And the options have grown enough to change the conversation. It's not whether we want it, but which kind we want. Most of our current energy consumption draws on fossil fuels. These fuels aren't renewable, and experts predict they could start running out as soon as 50 years from now. Plus, the combustion necessary to draw energy from fossil fuels releases vast amounts of pollution that leads to illnesses, ecological destruction, and what's turning out to be a nasty case of global climate change. Ideally, alternative energy sources are low polluters, and they're renewable to varying degrees. The thing is, it's not cheap to develop any energy system from the ground up on a large scale, so we need to focus. Which are the most promising options out there? Where should we put our money and our innovation muscle? Here are five of the most promising sources of energy that could take us, eventually, away from our dependence on fossil fuels. No single source is perfect, but each is potentially a path toward clean, renewable power. 5. Geothermal Geothermal energy is heat that's generated within the Earth. Geo means Earth and thermal means heat in Greek. It's a renewable resource that can be harvested for human use. Geothermal energy is more sustainable than fossil fuels and gets high marks for efficiency, cost and environmental impact. This type of energy production taps into the extremely high temperatures found deep within the Earth's crust about 2,900 kilometers or 1,800 miles below the Earth's crust or surface is the hottest part of our planet, the core. A small portion of the core's heat comes from friction and gravitational pull formed when the Earth was created more than 4 billion years ago. However, the vast majority of the Earth's heat is constantly generated by the decay of radioactive isotopes. To harness this heat, Sometimes as hot water, other times as steam, we need only dig deep enough to hit the right spot, where pockets of this geothermal energy are creeping to the surface. These wells provide taps into the Earth's intense heat energy. Once the steam or hot water is collected from the well, it's easily enough to use it directly as a heating source or to spin a turbine to generate electricity. Many countries have developed methods of tapping into geothermal energy. Different types of geothermal energy are available in different parts of the world. In Iceland, abundant sources of hot, easily accessible underground water make it possible for most people to rely on geothermal sources as a safe, dependable and inexpensive source of energy. Other countries, such as the US, must drill for geothermal energy at a greater cost. One other caveat, this type of energy may not be strictly renewable since we could potentially use this heat faster than the Earth can replenish it. Number 4. Solar Photovoltaic Solar energy is an alternative power standby and it comes in a couple of forms, thermal and photovoltaic. While both types are relatively promising, photovoltaic is, at the moment, the less expensive option and it has already been widely proven on the small scale. Solar photovoltaics is the technology behind what we call solar panels, and lots of homes and businesses have them on their roofs. These panels convert photons in sunlight directly into electricity. The inability to easily store this electricity is currently an issue, and it's not the most efficient form of power generation out there. Still, the technology has a lot going for it. It fits easily into small-scale homes and business applications. It produces no harmful emissions and uses entirely renewable fuel. And it's getting cheaper every year as more manufacturers get in on the action. Solar photovoltaics are being implemented in larger scale applications, popping up in huge arrays in the sunniest parts of the country. Both large and small scale systems are already connected to the grid, offering an appealing decentralized system for generating power. Solar energy production is really only worthwhile in the sunniest areas, but its well-proven ability to supply entire sunny communities with clean power makes it a promising alternative to fossil fuels. 3. Biomass 
people have used biomass energy, energy from living things, since the earliest cavemen first made wood fires for cooking or keeping warm. Biomass is organic, meaning it is made of materials that come from living organisms, such as plants and animals. The most common biomass materials used for energy are plants, wood and waste. These are called biomass feedstocks. Biomass energy can also be a non-renewable energy source. Biomass contains energy first derived from the sun. Plants absorb the sun's energy through photosynthesis and convert carbon dioxide and water into nutrients, carbohydrates. The energy from these organisms can be transformed into usable energy through direct and indirect means. Biomass can be burned to create heat, direct, converted into electricity, direct, or processed into biofuel, indirect. 2. Hydroelectric Hydroelectric energy, also called hydroelectric power or hydroelectricity, is a form of energy that harnesses the power of water in motion to generate electricity. People have used this force for millennia. Over 2,000 years ago, people in Greece used flowing water to turn the wheel of their mill to ground wheat into flour. Hydroelectric dams make use of the kinetic energy in moving water to produce power. Water spins a turbine, the turbine spins a generator, and the generator creates electricity. This form of power generation can cause harm by disrupting the natural action of moving bodies of water. Still, it's a proven technology that produces no pollution, is affordable to produce and extremely efficient, and uses an entirely renewable fuel. Hydroelectric energy is the most commonly used renewable source of electricity. China is the largest producer of hydroelectricity, but the top producers of hydropower around the world include the United States, Brazil, Canada, India and Russia. Approximately 71% of all the renewable electricity generated on Earth is from hydropower. The Three Gorges Dam in China, which holds back the Yangtze River, is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world in terms of electricity production. The dam is 2,335 meters or 7,660 feet long and 185 meters or 607 feet tall and has enough generators to produce 22,500 megawatts of power. Number 1. Wind Wind is the movement of air from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. In fact, wind exists because the sun unevenly heats the surface of the earth. As hot air rises, cooler air moves in to fill the void. As long as the sun shines, the wind will blow, and wind has long served as a power source for humans. Ancient mariners used sails to capture the wind. Farmers once used windmills to grind their grains and pump water. Today, more and more wind turbines ring electricity from the breeze. Over the past decade, wind turbine use has increased more than 25% per year. Still, it only provides a small fraction of the world's energy. Most wind energy comes from turbines that can be as tall as 20-story buildings and have three 200-foot or 60-meter long blades. The wind spins the blades, which turns the shaft connected to a generator that produces electricity. Wind is a clean source of renewable energy that produces no air or water pollution. And since the wind is free, operational costs are nearly zero once a turbine is erected. Mass production and technology advances are making turbines cheaper, and many governments offer tax incentives to spur wind energy development. Industry experts predict that if the pace of growth continues, by 2050, one-third of the world's electricity needs to be fulfilled by wind power. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss the most interesting information about the world.